Hey everybody, so today we're going to make some wonton soup. I've got pork and vegetable wontons. I was going to freehand them and make them myself, but that would make too long of a video. So I just bought these yesterday, yesterday and these are, they're fully cooked. I'm going to put them in some boiling water. I'm going to boil these till they float. They are made in Canada, I'm telling you. And I was just checking out the fat and the saturated fat and stuff. As I'm watching a lot of this now, it's, it's pretty good. I've got some pure sesame seed oil and it is 100% toasted. This stuff smells fantastic. This is by Blue Dragon here. I've got some minced garlic. Soya sauce. This is 30% less sodium. I've got six cups of beef broth. I'm going to do mine in beef. You can do it in chicken. I am going to do it in chicken because I do have wontons that are uh, chicken and vegetable. This has no sodium in it whatsoever. And I'm going to put three onions in it and broccoli. and fresh carrot chips. And they're just sliced thinly, just like so. I'm gonna put those in there. So I'm gonna put my beef broth, get my stove on. I'm gonna put the beef broth in here and then add the rest of my stuff. I now have my stove on for my wontons just to the right here. So I'm gonna get this going so I'm going to put the broth in. I got the wrong burner on. There's four. And another two is six. I'll lower you down a little bit so you can see the pot here. So now I'm going to add a teaspoon of the uh, sesame seed oil. It's going to be a teaspoon of everything that's going into this pot. Teaspoon of this. This is made out of glass. It's not made out of plastic. I thought it would be made out of plastic, but it is not. Teaspoon of sesame seed oil. This stuff smells fantastic. Oh my gosh. Teaspoon of soy sauce. This is low sodium soy sauce. A teaspoon of minced garlic. I gotta rinse this off, I don't need that in there. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. So these are done. When this starts to boil, I will add my vegetables. I'm waiting for my water to come to a boil for my wontons. This is so easy to make, so easy to make. I'm going to use the chicken broth for the next wonton soup, as they call for chicken broth, not beef, but you can use beef if you'd like. I was looking at all the broth yesterday in our uh, Canadian Superstore, and I'll tell you the sodium is so high, I couldn't find a really low sodium chicken broth, so I opted out to do chicken broth. So I thought I would do beef instead, because there is no sodium in this whatsoever. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And then I will add this when I come back. Okay, change of plan. This I'm waiting to boil. I'm going to add everything when the broccoli and the onions and everything is tender. Then I am going to throw the wontons in this same pot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to boil them separate. 
I'm going to put everything together as because the broccoli does not take long to cook by any means. So I will add my onions last because these are not going to take any time at all. So I'll put these in a dish when it starts to boil. I will add some carrots, probably a cup. I used about a half a bag in this dish. These, I love these things. I could eat this stuff every day. I don't know what it is, but it is so good. So good. I can smell it already. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to cut up some broccoli as well. So we can put some pieces in here and some with big stalks on it, not just little ones. You can throw bok choy in here if you like, whatever you prefer. When we order wonton soup, our soup usually comes with, um, you can get it either with pieces of chicken, beef, or ham. I choose to put no meat in here. We've been eating less meat nowadays than ever. And I have a hard time figuring out what to cook for supper now because we're not doing the meat and potatoes. So it, the eating has changed so much. So this should be just about ready to boil shortly. So I'll cut these up. And we will add this. Maybe I'll make some small ones. My dogs like the broccoli too when it's cooked. So they're eating pretty healthy too now. <laughs> well, their dog food is is healthy for them, but they're not eating they're not eating crazy stuff. They don't eat a whole bunch of crazy table scraps either. We don't do that. So So this should be as soon as this comes to a boil, then I'll come back. Okay, we're now coming to a light boil. I'm going to throw my broccoli in there. And a few carrots. I'm just going to turn it up just a slight bit. There we go. onions. Let this cook till my veggies are tender and then I will throw the wontons in. So I will be back. Okay now I'm gonna throw in my wontons and I'm gonna stir these so they do not stick together. There's cornstarch on them so they don't stick together. I'm just gonna break some of these apart if I can. Oh I might not be able to. I don't wanna I don't wanna crack them open. There we go. I'm going to let this go for about two minutes. I'm going to keep on stirring so they don't stick together. They will float when they are done. These won't take long to cook. It's about two to three minutes to cook these. So when this is ready, I'll dish up. Okay, she's done. I'm just going to dish some into a bowl. And then I will put some broth in here. I want some carrots. A 
for color. Oh, my dogs are might go crazy here. And then I'm going to put some broth in here. This is to taste how much salt and pepper I did add salt and pepper, how much salt and pepper you would like. I use sea salt. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to remove it from the heat. It's already complete. Get a spoon and I'm going to try this. These are done, these wontons are done because they float. These are uh, vegetable and pork wontons. At our co-op, that's where I got them from, but apparently there's another, a different kind of a bag that you can get, but I do want to try and make my own. With chicken, you can make chicken wontons. I do want to make pork, and I do want to try the beef, just to see how they taste. Mmm. This is really good. It darn near almost tastes like the store or the restaurant we get it from, but I used beef broth instead of chicken. But I'm going to try the chicken. Really good. It's not over salty. Add the salt that you want for how much salt intake that, that, you, that you do and how much you like on your food. I don't overdo my salt at all, but wow, I'm impressed. I think it's this peanut oil that does it myself. It called for a teaspoon or a tablespoon of uh, peanut oil, but I added more. I added more. I like the flavor and I love the smell of it and it's uh, toasted. So yeah, this is very good. I've never made wonton soup before, but I definitely will be making it again. So yes, make some, try it. It is delicious. You could add your own vegetables, bok choy, broccoli, carrots, the green onions, of course, but you don't have to make it exactly how you get it from the restaurant. You could probably add your own, your own vegetables. So yes, try it. It is really, really good. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, come along the journey with me in the life of Slim Twiggy.